Hey, what's up, guys? We got a match here against Ferrothorn, the legend off the Zat Chat. I don't think he has uh, YouTube. I think he said he didn't. I'm pretty sure of that. But anyways, I noticed he had a Smeargle, so I knew he was going to start off with it. So, I lead with my Rotom uh, Heat form. Um, to one, uh, give him the Choice Scarf to make sure he got locked into only one move, so he can't baton past anything. To make his Smeargle completely useless, and two as uh, sleep water, but he um, doesn't even go for uh, it. So whatever. So right here, I'm wondering how the hell I'm out speeding Infernape because I don't have too much speed investment in it. But um, whatever. So um, he goes for the Flare Blitz, which I'm kind of wondering on because I was a Fire type myself. But um. I go for the substitute because um, I don't even know this. I was trying to get a Neo King sweep with this team earlier, but uh, Mew got completely shit on, so there's no point of even using Mew. So um, I was gonna transform into him, but I didn't think he'd actually go for Flare Blitz twice. Um, I guess he did, and he knocked himself out, so I couldn't transform into him. And this is where Mew gets completely useless. But, um, I see that he has a card and I definitely don't want this thing setting up on me if it's going to. And, um, he just goes with the extreme speed. I guess he doesn't have, like, a setup move like Sword Chance or something. Anyways, I'm remembering out Zapdos, and he actually has Ice Punch, which I didn't expect. And I go for the Heat Wave, uh, um... I mean, I just wanted to get the Lucario out of there as fast as possible. If he was Sashed, it was broken, I, th I believe. No, it was not broken. I don't know. Whatever. So anyways, um, he's gonna bring in Smeargle and use Spore, which I'm completely fine with, because if you want to put my half-dead Pokemon to sleep, go right ahead. So I know he's gonna switch out, because he's locked onto that, and I'm gonna go into Snorlax to see what he wants to bring in. I'm pretty sure that the amount of HP I can take any move this thing wants to do. It does little... No, it does almost half. Um, I... Didn't really do too much, and that's is a choice banded to Snorlax. So I bring him you as Death Fodder, because he's the most useless person on my team at the moment. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna bring in Suicune, and uh, I'm gonna start setting up on him, because I know he does not want to take an Ice Beam. So, I go for the substitute, and um, what I should have done was probably have gone for the Calm Mine, anyways. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go for the Calm, uh, calm Mine right here, just because I'm gonna need a couple plus uh, special attacks for my Ice Beam to take out Gyarados, because it is only neutral. So he's gonna keep uh, going, try to take me down. But see now, I am a physical wall, I'm gonna take this all day. Um... He actually goes to the Dragon Dance right here to, um, one, actually get an attack bonus and, I guess, hopefully take me out with, like, a hit. So that way, like, he could have speed whatever comes in after he knocks me out or something, but, um, I'm still gonna go for the Calm Mines. I think I'm at a point where I decide that it's enough is enough that I have to go with Ice Beam, and it doesn't do too much, and I'm like, fuck, it's like plus three. But, um... He's gonna take me out with the earthquake. Um, doesn't really matter, but he does have Moxie, so I was kind of shooting my pants right there. So I knew that I could bring in something to just death fodder, and I f completely forgot he had sucker punch. So that was great for me. See, this is why you need physical Needle Kings. All right, so um, I'm bringing in Zapdos as death fodder to see what he wants to do. So he's gonna lock himself into outrage again. And I was actually deciding on going in you can go for an uh, actually I don't have, think I have as much. Never mind. So I go into Rotom because one, I know I can take a hit because I do have the focus dash from the Smeargle. And two, uh, burn him. And so now I know what the next one he decides to do is not going to do a lot. And I'm actually going to trick him my um, scar uh, focus dash to get the scarf because I know he's definitely carrying the scarf. Um. So, uh, right here, I don't want to see how the fuck he outspin me, because now I am Scarfed. But he goes to the Earthquake, he said it was a misclick or something, but 
I don't understand how you guys fed me. Um, anyways, I'm going to go with the overheat to knock him out. And he brings in the Smeargle, and, um, I know I need to sleep fought or something in. I think New King is probably the most useless guy on my team for his melodic, uh, that was in the description. And, uh, Right here, I just kind of stay in to go for a thunder punch. I don't think he was guessing on that. I think I was surprised him that I was fed him, and he thought I was going to switch out because I was sleeping, so he went for the toxic. But um, I'm pretty much at this point thinking New King is useless on my team, so I'm just going to try attacking. I'm going to go for earthquake this time to see if it does more, because it is stab. But he decides to want to use spore on me again. So I'm just gonna stay in and try to get off a move. Um, he switches out again. I'm gonna switch out this time and I'm gonna go into, uh, my Rotom Oven Heat Form, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Trick because tr Scarfed, last two Pokemon being Scarfed, one being Smeargle, he's not gonna have much to do. And he's gonna lock himself into moves quite a lot. So at this point, seeing how he should be locked into Scald, I'm gonna go into uh, Snorlax and get off uh, super effective Max Attack, not Max Attack, um, Choice Banded Seed Bomb, and he's gonna switch over to Smeargle as Death Fodder, and he makes a really risky play right here. If um, I was not carrying Thick Fat, I would have Immunity and Toxic would affect Snorlax, and I do win, good game, like, comment, subscribe.